Hello guys, this is Pavlos Karp again with you and we're continuing to create our quick LMS based on Laravel 5.4 and generated with Quick Admin Panel at first. So in this lesson, another 10 or 15 minute lesson, we'll see how it goes. We are uh, continuing to uh, go through our menu items in, in Admin Panel and see what we need to change from generated uh, Admin Panel code. Today's topic is questions, their options, and tests. So what we will manage is questions and tests, basically. So here you see the, uh, the questions part, uh, the questions list. And the logic here is that we add questions one by one without attaching it to any test or any course or any lesson. Uh, and then we will choose the questions uh, from, from the list to add to the test. So to add a question, I need question text, question image, optional, and score. And here it's all fine. The only thing I would change is the score to be default to 1. So I open questions create blade. And in the field score, the value is old score. But if it's not present, we will set it to 1. I think that should work. OK. Let's test if it actually worked. Test question, image skip for now, and let's save the data. Yeah, we're good. And then in terms of edit, the question, uh, yeah, score is one. So that should be fine for now. Now we have questions options. And Quick Admin Panel generated it as separate CRUDs, and that's fine because technically in, in database there are questions and questions options. So two separate data tables, uh, I mean database tables, and there should be separate. But visually, it's much more convenient to have options inside of a question. So when I'm creating the question, I would be able to see the, the options to fill in. So the options form looks like that. Uh, I choose the question, I choose option text, and whether it's correct or not. So there will be one or more than one correct answers, uh, correct options to each question. So let's move that options form into the question blade, and uh, let's merge it into one form, actually. So if I go to options create, and uh, I will copy and paste the panel to questions create panel. For example, yeah, we don't need heading. Um, we don't need question here, but it will go from upstairs. So option text and correct or not. Um, and what I want to do here is regroup that a little. Thinking how to do that, probably it will be not to help three rows in text area first. Uh, let's see how it looks actually. Questions and add new question. There should be a new panel option text and correct or not. Um, actually let's let's just copy and paste. For the simplicity of course it will be much more convenient if we add like drag and drop options and stuff like that but for now uh, to not, to not waste too much of your time, let's copy all those fields as a four different panels. Uh, let's stick to uh, to the parameter of four. Uh, actually, let's put a four each here. Um, can I do a four? I think I can. So for example, four question equals one question less than four and I actually haven't tried for a long time to do four in blade. I think it should work and four and uh, let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. It adds four, four fields. Great. So what we need here is option text uh, and then question. So we'll have um, we'll have some fields with underscore actually option text underscore and then question number uh, that and that correct. 
correct question again. Correct question. Question. Of course, there are multiple ways to do that. We would we would be able to form an array, for example, from that. But uh, I'm sticking to the quickest solution. Okay, so we should have four variables here. Let's look at the source. It should be question underscore image, and then then option text. So we have option text one and correct one, option text two and correct two, and so on. So we should be okay. And then what we need to do is actually add the options to the create controller. So here we are in our questions controller and we are interested in the method store, which stores our question as again generated by quick admin panel, but we need to add options here. So let's do exactly that. For example, uh, Q4, in ideal world that 4 should be constant, for example, extracted in some config file, but uh, we're not getting into that here. So uh, option equals request input option text Q and with default value empty. So basically we're checking if it's if it has value or if it's empty by default. And if option isn't empty string, then we add it. So how we add it is question option create. And we're passing an array here with question ID equals our question object ID, then option text equals option and correct or not it's request input correct underscore q should be good let's try it so we're adding a question new question score one all of that option text first is for testing one 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 correct option text two is two 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 not correct. Option three should be correct, and option four actually it's skipped. So, oh right, I meant required. I will change it, but still four for four. Save, and we're good. We have no error. New question. Let's look into our database. Question is here. It is saved. It's question ID number three and question options. Yep, we're good. So two of the options are correct. And the final thing I need to do here is remove the required thing here. Uh, Place where actually remove that as well. Yep. So we're good to save questions with options. Final thing here in this lesson is let's take care about tests. So for tests, we can create a test and add more than one question to it. Uh, test can belong to a course or a lesson, uh, or both actually, uh, and it's optional. So let's try to create a test, main test for example, with some empty description, and we can add questions. Test question and new question, that's all we have in the database, and let's say, let's see if it actually works. Yeah, we're good. Uh, what I can change here, what I might want to change is to remove some uh, some fields here. Probably I'll remove description because it might take longer. But actually, let's leave it for now. What I do want to do here is to uh, to change the same, to fix the same problem we had in other menu items. I can access as a teacher course not only myself but other teachers' courses, and I want to restrict that so we use the same scope. We're getting back to the same scope from the previous lessons. I've created it, actually I'll show it again for those who haven't watched previous lessons. In model course, I have a scope of teacher and I'm checking whether that course belongs to a teacher or if it's an admin logged in, then I don't do anything. 
So all I need to do here is to add a scope of teacher and it should, uh, that's the test controller and create method and it should filter only my courses which is John's course so I don't see Sally's course anymore and we should do the same with lessons right but for lessons I don't have that scope yet so we cannot create off teacher and we won't actually. What we will do here is uh, get the IDs of those courses filtered so now we have courses filtered here uh, we will create courses IDs variable and we will filter the IDs field from that collection and then we will filter the main courses to be the same as previously courses so now we have courses ID and we can use it so we get lessons uh, where in course ID equals courses IDs and then do the same thing so we should be able to see only my lessons uh, yeah we see only my lessons so that was probably the last thing I want to change here actually let's move it to uh, to edit method as well so we don't forget it later uh, yeah we're good and yeah, we're good. So uh, this lesson actually finalizes our admin panel part, which is of course not perfect. It, it may be better, it may be like it still has bugs here and there, but we're done for now and we will move to creating the LMS front-end functionality. So listing the courses, uh, signing up for the course, viewing the course, viewing the tests, lessons and all of that. So see you in the next lessons of creating quick LMS with Laravel 5.4.